We got the best Vanguard settings for you guys today, and I'm not even going to waste your time. We're just going to get straight into it. But before we do, I just want to let you know that all the Windows settings are exactly the same from the last Warzone settings video. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below so you can see all the best Windows settings. But let's just get right into the in-game settings here. So we're starting here under the keyboard and mouse section under mouse right here. And this is obviously for all my keyboard and mouse players out there. But we're just going to scroll down until you see ADS sensitivity mode. And then you're going to see it says show more right here. So click that. And this monitor distance coefficient, this will be 1.33 by default. And if you have a 16 by 9 monitor, you could try switching this to 1.78. It's going to make your mouse feel a lot more responsive. Sometimes it might feel a little too responsive and like fast for some people. So if you don't like how it feels you could still use 1.33 but this is just an option for you guys out there if you aren't using a 16 by 9 monitor and you want to try doing this all you got to do is take the width of your monitor and divide that by the height and then you will get the number that you are supposed to put here scrolling down a bit we just want to make sure that mouse acceleration mouse filtering and mouse smoothing this is all turned all the way down or off moving on over to the graphic section under display we are starting here with display mode guys play in full screen please it's going to minimize your input lag the most i know alt tabbing out of the game sucks but you are getting more input lag when you are playing in full screen borderless so just playing full screen mode if you don't really care about that slight bit of input lag i mean be my guest go ahead if you like to alt tab out of the game a lot but i do not recommend display resolution just make sure your display resolution is selected here obviously make sure you got your monitor and your correct refresh rate selected here v-sync we want both of these turned off in the gameplay in the menus the only real use for v-sync is it'll fix some of that screen tearing if you are getting screen tearing but it's going to add input lag so i don't recommend it i would rather just deal with the screen tearing to be honest my frame rate limit i am setting this to unlimited now you could click the show more and you could just max this first one all the way up where it says gameplay custom frame rate limit and then you could limit the frames to 60 in the menu so your gpu is not always running super hot like mine is here mine is running pretty hot in this game actually aspect ratio you can leave on automatic then brightness a lot of people always do their brightness wrong it is set up correctly on my screen right here it might look a bit different on the elgato that's recording this but basically your brightness you just want this middle logo to be just barely visible a lot of people will just crank it all the way up here thinking it's going to make it easier to see people and that's going to do nothing besides wash out your game so i would recommend not doing that and actually following what it tells you to do here just make this barely visible visible and you don't want this visible at all and this easily visible and that's going to give you the best visibility in terms of the brightness setting here a lot of people always do seem to mess that up for some reason i see so many people playing on extremely washed out games and it just bothers me but uh display gamma we have on 2.2 if you're playing on an hd tv or whatever you could try 2.4 but for the most of us we're on a computer we're using a monitor so 2.2 is going to be best hdr i do not recommend using although it could depend on your monitor so if this setting is turned on and your game's been looking extremely like dark and kind of like hard to see stuff this is probably due to hdr a lot of monitors are not very good with hdr and it just looks like crap but maybe you have a really good monitor that produces a really good image with hdr focus mode we want this turned off make sure you have your correct gpu selected under display adapter it should be set there automatic and then at the bottom here you're going to see on demand texture streaming you're just going to want to click that and then turn on demand texture streaming off i have heard that this can fix some of the packet burst issues but it hasn't fixed it for me but either way you want this setting turned off so turn it off moving over to the quality tab so you just want to keep your render resolution at 100 dynamic resolution you want this turned off texture resolution we're going to put this on medium if you don't really care about frames and you want your game to look a little better you could run high and vice versa if you're not getting as many frames as you would like after these settings and you don't really care how your game looks just you, you could literally just turn this all the way down if you wanted i prefer kind of a nice balance but texture filter anisotropic we do have this on high and then these two settings are going to kind of affect how the snow looks on the uh, red star i believe the map is called so you want particle quality level on very low and then particle resolution on high and this is going to make it a little easier to see through the snow on that map giving you a little better visibility bullet impacts and sprays is very cpu intensive so we're turning this off but you know if you do want to see your sprays you could turn this on but keep in mind it is very cpu intensive shader quality we have on low tessellation we have turned off the level of detail distant range we have this set to long we want to see those details at a long distance although this could affect your frames a little bit so if it is affecting your frames a little bit just turn it down to make
may be the standard and if it's still really messing with your frames you could just turn it all the way down to short but I do recommend long if your computer can handle it uh, nearby level of detail we have on high as well distant level of detail again we have on high and as I said before with this level of detail distance range if these are really affecting your frames you could turn them down to low but your game's gonna look a lot better and visibility is gonna be a lot better with these on high clutter draw distance we are putting this on low volumetric quality level we are again putting this on low and then scrolling down to screen space shadows we want this turned off shadow map resolution we want this very low sunshade cascades we want this low again and then cache sun shadows and cache spot shadows we want both of these turned on these are gonna speed up the rendering of your future frames and this definitely helps with your frame rate and then the spot cache size we have this on low spot shadow quality again on low particle lighting on low ambient occlusion turned off and then we're gonna click show more right here and turn this GTAO quality down to low screen space reflection we have turned off again and now we have a lot of new settings here well two new settings here that are really fun and interesting so you're gonna have some options here first of all I just keep DLSS off in this game and then I've been running this fidelity FX cast turned on I'll put two images up here on the screen so you guys can see the difference of the two basically it just really really sharpens up the image and it improves visibility immensely what I did is I turned this on and then I clicked show more and I turned the strength all the way up now the only problem with using this feature is you can't use fidelity FX super resolution and this fidelity FX super resolution just gives massive massive frame boosts i'm talking nearly an extra 100 frames when you put it to the performance option which the performance option kind of looks like crap and i wouldn't really recommend anyone using because the game's gonna look like a blurry mess but on the balance quality and ultra quality settings it still significantly improves your frames so i'm gonna put examples of that up on the screen here for you guys so you can see it for yourself Personally, I would recommend using anything besides performance. Performance just, like I said, looks terrible. Balance still looks a bit fuzzy, but it gives you just an insane frame rate boost, as well as quality and ultra quality, but the frame rate boost won't be as significant. But if you put this setting to ultra quality, the game literally looks no different than if you have this setting off. So there is no reason not to use this setting unless you want to use this Fidelity FX cast. Now, if you want to get the image sharpening from this Fidelity, Fidelity FX cast while using this Fidelity FX super resolution. What you could do is turn the Fidelity FX super resolution on and then go into your NVIDIA control panel and add image sharpening yourself in there. Now the image isn't going to look quite as good as it would with the Fidelity FX super resolution off and this cast turned on, but it'll still look pretty good and you'll get a pretty sizable FPS boost. I mean, not even sizable, just an insane amount, which is what I think I'm going to end up doing personally. Personally. I'm gonna try that out for myself here now anti-aliasing we only have two options which is really odd I'm running SMAA T2X I'm not running the filmic for some reason this keeps getting reset and going to filmic SMAA T2X so I don't know why that is but it is a thing and then I click the show more and change anti-aliasing quality to low and then depth of field we want this turned off this is just added effects to the game that's gonna affect visibility and then this VRAM target usage I have this turned all the way up so I can use as much as my GPU as possible in this game but that could cause some stuttering and hitching or whatever so if you are experiencing those issues try turning this down a little bit and see if that fixes the issue for you moving over to the gameplay tab here I do play on 120 FOV and I play on affected FOV now we want to turn our camera movement all the way down to the least because the more the camera shakes the harder it's gonna be to see people and do anything and it's also very annoying motion blur both of these we want turned off again that's affecting visibility we don't want that and then reflex low latency we just have this turned on turning this to on plus boost could cause some stuttering and hitching issues so i recommend just leaving this on for my audio settings they're honestly pretty much default i just have my master volume up to 100 have the music turned all the way off and then dialogue volume down to 50 and the audio mix i'm playing on is headphones because well i'm using headphones they don't give you many options here like we have in warzone and i mean you're not really going to be hearing footsteps all that much in this game.
game let's be honest you know but i hope this video did help you guys out if it did please drop a like and subscribe if you're new here i'd really really appreciate that we are working our way up to 50,000 subscribers so that one subscription from you definitely does help a lot i'd really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video here's the web peace